everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a really quick product breakdown video. I've done this in the past with some of the Sephora perfume sampler kits and they've recently, sometime within the last few weeks or so, released a few new um, fragrance samplers. And if you guys are not familiar with these, what it basically is is a little kit of small vial perfumes, um, samples of a few different fragrances, and in that kit you will have a voucher to redeem one of the perfumes from that kit in a full size. Um, so it's great for people who either just don't know what kind of perfume they want or if you want to give it as a gift for the holidays are coming up and the 20% off sale for VIB and VIB Rouge is coming up soon. So if you have been wanting to buy a perfume, this might be a good way to try a whole bunch of different ones before you buy and, you know, try before you commit to an expensive perfume. So the fragrance sampler that I will be reviewing today is the Sephora Favorites Perfume Sampler. So they've had this name before for different ones but they've changed the scents and stuff and come out with new ones so this one is a little bit different if you've ever tried the Sephora favorites so in this set there are 15 different fragrances to choose from the price of this kit is $65 so I'll go through telling you all the perfumes and colognes that are included in this set um, what the redeemable size is and the cost and whether it is a higher value a lower value equal value and all of that so in this set there are nine fragrances that are a greater value value there are four that are a lower value and then there are two fragrances that are an equivalent value so let's go through and I will break it down for you guys so the first fragrance included in this kit is called the Atelier Cologne Orange Sanguine Cologne Absolute this redeemable size is for the one ounce and the cost of this would be $70 so since the price of the kit is $65 and the cologne alone would be $70 it's kind of like getting a $5 savings if you think about it that way so this is a higher value perfume. The next cologne is Chloe by Chloe and this one is the Eau de Parfum and the redeemable size is one ounce. This one is $75 value so that one is a higher value. Next is the Clean Reserve Warm Cotton Eau de Parfum. This one is for the 3.4 ounce and the value of this is $90 so this is again a higher value perfume. This perfume is also the one that you are going to be getting the most actual perfume of. This one is the 3.4 ounce. Most of these other ones are all the 1 ounce or the 1.7 ounce. Um, so this one is not necessarily the highest value perfume, but you are going to be getting the most of the actual product for 3.4 ounces. Next is the Derek Lamb 10 Crosby Silent Street Cologne. This one is for the 1.7 ounce and the value of this one is $95. This one is tied for the highest value so this is the cologne that is going to be the most expensive. You're not necessarily going to get the most actual product but it is the most expensive and it is tied with one other. So the next two fragrances are both by Elizabeth and James. The first one is Nirvana Bourbon and then the second one is Nirvana Rose. Both both of these are redeemable for the one fluid ounce and they are both valued at $65. So since the price of the kit is $65 and the colognes themselves are $65, it is an equal value. However, if you do think about it, you are getting like 13 other fragrances, um, you know, the little mini samples for free if you think about it like that. So in a way, I guess it could be deemed a higher value. It's all just about how you look at it and how you want to interpret it, so either way it could be a higher value to some people, but as far as the price of the cologne versus the price of the kit, this one is an equivalent value. So the next perfume is the Gucci Guilty Eau de Toilette. This one is for the one ounce, and the value of this one is $62, so that is a lower value cologne. Next is the Marc Jacobs Daisy. This one is the Eau de Toilette, and it's the 1.7 ounce, and this one is $80 value. So that one is a higher value cologne. Next is the Narcisco Rodriguez for her Eau de Toilette for the one ounce, and this one is the $56 value, so this one is a lower value cologne. The next cologne is Nest Indigo Eau de Parfum. This one is the 1.7 ounce and the value of this one is $68 so that is a higher value. Next is the Prada Candy Kiss Eau de Parfum for the 1 ounce and the value of this one is also $68 again another higher value. Then the Stella McCartney Stella Eau de Parfum. This one is for the 1 ounce and the value of this one is $52 so this is the lowest value cologne from the kit. 
Next is the Tom Ford Black Orchid Eau de Parfum. This is for the one ounce and the value of this one is $82, so that is a higher value. Next is the Tory Burch Jolie Fleur and that one is the Eau de Parfum, the 1.7 ounce, and this one is also $95, so that one is tied for the highest value cologne. Again, it is tied with the Derek Lamb cologne. And then finally, the last one in this kit is the Versace Bright Crystal Eau de Toilette. This is the one ounce and the value is $55, and that one is a lower value cologne. So again, you should always pick whatever fragrance you like the best. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of a kind of like a cheat sheet if you are looking forward to um, getting the most value out of this kit. Like I said, the two highest values are the Derek Lamb cologne and the Tory Burch cologne. Those are both the highest values. Um, the lowest value is going to be the Stella McCartney perfume, and then the most actual product that you're gonna get is the um, Clean Reserve Warm Cotton for the 3.4 ounces. So I hope you guys found this helpful if you are looking forward to either buying this for yourself or buying it for someone for the holidays or a gift, anything like that. It's always easy to kind of get a product like this because you can try out all these different fragrances and then you also get a full size one in the end. So I always think that these are really great gift guides. So I hope you guys found that helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram. Link is below. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.